Kerala remains to be on the edge as widespread violence was reported across the state on Thursday. A chain of frenzied protests helmed by the BJP and Sangh Parivar outfits over the controversial woman entry a day ago into the Sabrimala temple have resulted in violence on Thursday. More than 100 persons, including 38 policemen, were injured in the violent protest that rocked Kerala. The BJP has called for a two-day protest against the women's entry in the Sabrimala temple under police protection. Angry protesters blocked roads in many parts of the state. Police came protesters in Kasar Gore, Palakkad, Kollam and many other places. A group of women jumped a barricade and came close to the chief minister's office in the state capital but were overpowered. Journalists reporting from outside the secretariat in Thiruvananthapuram were allegedly attacked by BJP workers and its youth wing activists. An activist of the Sabrimala Karma Samiti who was injured in a clash on Wednesday succumbed to his injuries at a hospital in Pandala late Wednesday night. The deceased, identified as 55-year-old Chandran Unnithan, suffered head injuries after being allegedly hit by a stone during a clash between workers of the BJP and the ruling CPIM in Pandalam. The Sabrimala temple in Kerala has been the site of protests and agitations ever since the Supreme Court in September 2018 lifted the ban on entry of women of menstrual age into the temple. Meanwhile, Kerala police detained two persons on Thursday for allegedly sparking violence in the vicinity of the Sabrimala temple following the entry of two women into the shrine. Police have also detained two persons for attacking special branch women police personnel on duty in the rural area of Ernakulam district on Wednesday night. National Desk, Northeast Live.